In this technical demonstration, we're going to show you how you can repurpose models from the ESCO Shape Store for different size objects. We're going to explore a deodorant stick and we are going to enlarge it to provide a second model for a larger content. So how are we going to accomplish this? Let's start in Adobe Illustrator, create a new document and show you here that we can place this Dio stick here and we can get information uh, around it. So we can see the depth, the height and the width and the different parts that make up this uh, Colada file. Notice the ZAE extension. We're already going to export this onto my desktop. We're going to be needing this in a bit. And we're also going to place this right here in Illustrator. We are going to use the trim box and media box to fit this. I notice I'm currently working in inches. So let's go ahead and change that to millimeters. Fit the canvas and the artboard and we can see here that the height of my label is 85.674 millimeters so we are wanting to extend that to a hundred millimeter height okay so we need to first calculate how much we're going to have to scale that and then how can I scale that model so let's find out the scaling percentage first, okay? So again, we started at right here, 85.674, and we wanna go to 100. So we're gonna go 100 divided by 85.674, and that is, 1.167215, so that would be 16% scaling. Okay, um, let's go ahead and open up Blender and try to import that Colada file. Okay, let's get rid of this cube here. Now you'll notice in the import section, that Colada files um, allow for the DAE extension and not for the zipped asset exchange. So we're going to essentially have to pry that DAE out of that ZAE. How do we do that? Well, very simple. You uh, go ahead and rename this to a zip file, unzip it, and in here, you will see this Dio stick. Uh, let's go ahead and import that. No, nope. let's try that again. Import Colada, Put my desktop, Dio stick, there it is. Okay, go into the display options and zoom in onto my model so we can see the uh, printable area has been defined on this Dio stick this printable area I can also visualize in a text editor so let me show you that here quickly uh, for this purpose I'm going to use another open source called text wrangler and we are simply going to take that DAE file and open that up in Text Wrangler. And you can see here the exact same uh, vertical dimension that we found earlier in Illustrator. All right, so that's my right here, height 85.674. And that's defined here in this um, technique um, right here which encompasses this uh, section right here so this defines that printable area so this is what we want to change to 100 millimeters but 
obviously we, we want to have to change the uh, the model for that as well so in my scene node i'm going to select my entire dio stick we're going to go to scale and here in the z-axis we're going to apply that scale factor that i calculated so one six seven two one five there you go so i only scaled it in the z direction uh, having done that i'm going to export this back out as a collada file so back in the desktop onto here and let's rename this to let's say 100 milliliter dae okay so export that now the thing is um the new one if i go back to illustrator and i create a new document and i try to place this new dae file that i just exported out of blender you'll see we get an error message here in illustrator saying that there is no valid printable part specified in this dae file so the file cannot be opened so how do we define that uh, printable area well in one of my other youtube movies um, i explained the procedure to do that and that is using again the uh, text editor in my case i'm using text wrangler and then um, inserting that uh, piece of uh, information here that we found earlier right here uh, in a certain location inside that um, collada file so we could either copy this change this to 100 millimeters come in here find where i need to insert which is right here insert it and i'm done so that's one way the geeky way let's say um, i want to show you another way and that's where studio toolkit comes in okay so this allows me to define that printable area in that collada file so here's that collada file and using the toolkit for labels i can now add a roll around label and i know that the height of that label needs to be 100 millimeters so i'm going to position that i'm also going to slide the seam towards the side so it doesn't interfere with um, my graphics so let's position that exactly precisely where we want it so you can see in the back the seam there you go so now i've defined that printable area and if i save this now back in that dio stick as a hundred milliliter you'll see now that this actually is again a ZAE file now and that's the file that we're able to place in Illustrator so head on back over to Illustrator and using the structural design plugin we can now place that ZAE we can see here the um, overlap on the label and again this time if we fit our trim box and media box and we change the document setup to millimeters we should see that we have exactly our new object 100 millimeter height and uh, just let me show you also here in the studio window the uh, new label compared to the original label so there you have it using the shape store i was able to repurpose this model and uh, create a different content for that hope uh, that helps and uh, if you like it uh, thumbs up and join me in another technical demo here on my youtube channel thanks